Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. In this video we're going to discuss Bollinger Bands and we're going to focus on how they are used when we trade trends and how they are used when we trade reversals. But firstly, in terms of their construction, Bollinger Bands are made up of three lines. The first line is the center line that you see here. The other two lines are on each side of the center line. Now the center line is a simple moving average and the distance between itself and the outside bands is measured in standard deviations. Now if you're not sure what standard deviations are or how they're measured, then don't worry, you don't realistically need to know that. But what you do need to know is that they are used to measure the distance between the simple moving average and the outside bands. So for example, if I go into the setting for standard deviations which is currently at 2 and I change that to 5, you can see that the outside bands have moved further away. So obviously if I take that back to 2, the outside bands come back to their normal position. So let's see how we can use Bollinger Bands to get into trends. So firstly, when we get into trends, we're looking to get into them when the trend has already begun. So sometimes that may be halfway through. So every trend has to have a beginning, a middle and an end. And this is where we use Bollinger Bands and the reason why is because Bollinger Bands measure volatility. So remember in Forex we have no access to volume because there is no central exchange. So volatility is absolutely crucial to our trading. Obviously the higher the volatility the more players there are in the market and the lower the volatility the less players there are in the market. And this is exactly what we're looking for when we're trading Bollinger Bands. And the Bollinger Band squeeze identifies for us that there is less volatility in the market. So that means that this uptrend that you can see here is slowing down because there is less players in the market. And the Bollinger Band squeeze is exactly the tool that identifies that for us. So what we can see here is a new downtrend being formed after the Bollinger Band squeeze. So that means that after the period of low volatility at the squeeze, we now have a period of high volatility, so a new trend has begun. And it is after this point that we're looking to get into a trend. So what we're looking for is a bounce of the simple moving average, which is exactly what we get here. And for our target, we're looking for the previous low. So that's this price area here. So if I take a horizontal line and mark that price level, you can see that it's been taken out by this big long black candle here. Now we can also use Bollinger Bands to trade reversals, but for that you cannot use Bollinger Bands by themselves. They're simply not strong enough. So what we need to do is use another indicator, and in this example we're using the RSI indicator which stands for Relative Strength Index. Now we're not going to go into what RSI is in this video because we have another video dedicated to that. So if you're not sure what RSI is, then please watch that video first. But if you're familiar with RSI, then please stay in this lesson. So what we're looking for in terms of the relationship between the Bollinger Bands and the RSI indicator is divergence. So I'll explain a little bit better. So what we have here is a touch of the top Bollinger Band here and the touch of the top Bollinger Band here as well. So remember, when we're trading top reversals, we're looking for touches of the top Bollinger Bands. When we're trading bottom reversals, we're looking for touches of the bottom Bollinger Bands. So in this example, we have two touches of the top Bollinger Band. We have touch number one and touch number two. Now in this instance, prices are still going upwards despite the fact that the Bollinger Bands have touched. But the RSI indicator is showing us something different completely. It's showing us a weakness and it's continuing to fall. So despite the fact that the prices are going up in that price chart, the RSI indicator is showing weakness. So that is the divergence that we're looking for. So all we really mean is movement in the opposite direction in the Bollinger Band indicator and the RSI indicator. So you can see that from this point, the Bollinger Band, uh, the price level rather, has touched the top Bollinger Band and the price fell. So that's how you would use Bollinger Bands to trade reversals. So if you have any questions or comments, do let us know. Please subscribe to our channel or otherwise follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or Google Plus and we shall see you in the next lesson.